to all the participants. The section will begin shortly. Please remain on the line. Before the event starts, I would like to remind on a few announcements and reminder for you guys to take note. Firstly, if you wish to ask any questions to our speaker, kindly do wait till our Q&A session. You may kick off your question in chat box during that time. Secondly, attendance form will be given at the end of our session. A screenshot is required to get your full attendance. So please do remain in a YouTube live throughout the program. Your cooperation is highly appreciated. Thank you. Before we begin, I would like to invite Bukhisha Reza bin Muhammad Shari to recite the prayers. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen. Ajma'ina wa sahbihi wa ala alihi. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, praise be to Allah, Lord of the world. Let your blessing and your peace be on your servant and your messenger Muhammad and on his family and his companions. Allahumma ya Allah, on this glorious evening, in conjunction with the GM Food Talk, when food meets technologies, we uphold our hands to pray gratefully to thank you. In your infinite favor to us, you will can live in peace and harmony to perform our task as your servant. O oh Allah, we ask for your blessing to make this event a success. Allahumma ya hayu ya qayyum ya zajalal wa zikram. You are the mercy of the mercies and you are the Lord of the universe. You give us mercy from your presence and guidance for the right path. We ask you for knowledge which is beneficial and sustenance which is good and deeds which are acceptable. O oh Allah, help us to remember you, to thank you, and to worship you in the best of manners. Forgive us, have mercy upon us, guide us, give us help, and grant us sustenance. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil ahirati hasana wa hina azabana. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa salam. Subhana Rabb. Because Rob B is that the Amaya Sifun was Salamu Allah Mur Salin, while Hamdulillah he was the Alam. Thank you, Makris, for the recitation just now. And hello everyone, welcome and thank you for dialing in for our YouTube live today. I, Logeshwari Sugumarin, will be your moderator for today's event, GM Food Shock, when food made technologies. This program is all about increasing our knowledge on biotechnological application in the food industry that have been practiced for decades till now. By the end of our time today, we hope you feel more comfortable and confident about GM Food Talk. We are very passionate about GM Food Talk and have many exciting stories and learnings to share here today. I really hope that this event would be a knowledgeable and beneficial for everyone present here. For your information, Prof. Matya Dr. Halmi Vaso and Momo Mahisa has been recognized as a lecturer from the Department of Bioprocess Technology of University Putra, Malaysia. He has expertise researching about food biotechnology food science, fermentation technology, bioremediation, biosensor, and enzyme technology. So now, let's step into our first slot, which is the background of GMO fuel. Without any further delay, let us call upon our beloved panel, Prof. Matya Dr. Halmi, today. Good evening, Dr. Halmi. How are you doing today? Good evening. Good evening. It's okay. All right. Thank you. 
We are so happy to have you, Doctor. Yeah, I'm doing good, Doctor. Thank you. We are so happy to have you here. So the floor is yours now, Doctor. You can start your talk. Okay, thank you very much, Roger Swari and uh, Mohris just now. Okay, everyone. Okay, how are you, everybody? Hopefully, all of you, you are okay. Okay, now it's uh, 8.36, okay. We start with uh, uh, GM Food Talk. Eh? GM Food Talk when, okay, in okay, food biotechnology, okay. Okay, for food biotechnology, everyone, Okay, you are already uh, you are already uh, familiar with the biotechnology. Okay, what is it? Biotechnology. Now I want to narrow it down. And biotechnology related to food. Eh? Biotechnology related to food. Everyone, okay. 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 Now, first of all, I would like to share with you about the history of uh, food biotechnology. Okay, how does it come? Okay, basically for food biotechnology, it, it start from it started about ten thousand years ago, until now to the food production by modern industry. Okay, class. Okay. Okay, from the ancient history of biotechnology. Okay, it dates back seven thousand years ago when Mesopotamia people. They use bacteria. Okay, for a long time ago, the very very famous drink is a wine, uh, so they convert wine into a vinegar. Vinegar meaning that here is uh, some type of ethanol. Okay, this is done by Mesopotamian people. Okay, okay, and then okay, three thousand before century, what happened? And Ah, uh, three thousand before century. Okay, the one the the one related to food, which is very famous at that time, is a bread. Okay, bread. They try to to improve the bread by using uh, basically by using uh, biotechnology. Uh, it is it is a yeast. Huh? At first, it is a yeast. Okay, fermentation of juice uh, to produce alcoholic beverages like a beer, wine. Okay, and then uh, this is. This is famous by some other uh, civilizations such as Babylonian, Assyrian, and Egyptian. Okay, okay. For history, I I would like to go through make it faster eh, because I have a lot of slide here. Okay, okay. Then at two thousand before century, uh, so the cultivation of wine for wine, uh, start to happen in Assyrian. Okay, then after that the Roman Emperor, uh, Aurelius in Germany they promote for a wine growing at that time. Okay, okay. Then at the third century the beer, uh, beer brewing started. Okay, that meaning that the industry of it is started. Okay, and then at thousand three hundred, okay, production of spirit uh, of wine. Spirit production of spirit is a uh, ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol is a ethanol. Ethanol. Okay, ethanol. Okay, this is history. Okay, history. At sixteen eighty, Le Venhoek start to start to visualize the yeast cell by using a simple microscope. A simple microscope, okay. Uh, at eighteen eighteen, and then okay, people start to know how to how to use yeast, how to read how to relate yeast for the food production. And okay? during eighteen eighty, okay. Okay, then at eighteen fifty seven, okay, father of biotechnology. And pastor start to this explain about lactic acid bacteria for fermentation. Okay, class. Ah, eh? uh, the food bi food biotechnology basically they relate they very much for the fermentation. Okay, ah, uh, and then ah uh, in eighteen sixty five the Mendel ah uh, you know actually eh, Gregor Mendel start to explain about the the trait eh, from ah uh, generation to generation can be passed eh, through through plant. Okay. And then, in nineteen twenty-two, okay, okay, ah, uh, farmers start to buy hybrid hybrid corn seed. Ah, huh? it is start to to create it, to create it, and then it is started in the US, US, which is six hundred percent. Ah, they start to use ah uh, this type of hybrid corn seed. Okay, it is in nineteen twenty-two. 
Okay, so this one, even though it is about plant biotech, it is related, close related as well to the food biotech, okay? Okay, in 1953, Crick start to define and explain about DNA structure. Okay, this one, so people start to explore more about, more about uh, genetic engineering. And then they, they, they expose more about food biotechnology, okay? Okay, then 1973, okay, people start to understand eh, how to how to move one gene to from from one organism to another organism. Okay, in 1986, okay, uh, first soya bean, okay, first first um, first soya bean which is modified, eh, which is, which is modified that are herbicide resistant. Okay, this soya bean is called Roundup soya bean. Uh, maybe some of you are uh, familiar about this, this, uh, this news. Okay, I, I, this is about history. Okay, and, and then 1990. Okay, the first, uh, first food biotech product approved by US FDA. Uh, this is by this is enzyme to produce cheese. Uh, okay, and then in 1994, one more JM soya bean approved by US FDA. Okay. Uh, you can see that it is about 1990, 1994, about about 30 years ago. 30 years ago, okay, food biotech start to explode, okay. Until now, and 2022, okay, it's very long time, but the, the technology still improve time by time, okay. Okay, then, uh, okay, in mid-1990, uh, the first biotech improved crop start to be commercialized. Eh? Uh, it include uh, cotton potato, soya bean, canola, and uh, a, a lot more, okay? It is 1990. And then 1997, okay, US government, they start to improve a more biotech crop, okay? And 1999, more biotech crop coming to the market, okay? Okay, class, that, that, that one is a history for a food biotech, okay? Of course, we cannot, we cannot uh, separate the food biotech from plant, huh? plant, a plant a GMO plant and animal class eh? okay now I just want to give you um what does what does the the food biotech mean okay some of these changes seem miraculous and some are threatening some seem threatening because there are so miraculous uh, this is about food biotech okay uh, this I give you is a cultured meat uh, cultured meat so it look very very nice however some some um some group of people Uh, they they look at it as a threatening process, the threatening threatening session for their life. Okay, okay. Some say it is good. Some say some cannot accept it. Uh, okay. Okay. Now the question: uh, What is your definition of food biotechnology? Okay. What is it? Uh, what you can think about it. Okay. Okay. So I give you. Okay, all of you are not ready about the biotechnology, biology plus technology. Okay, biotech involves the using of biological process to produce okay something related to agriculture, environment, industry, and medicine. Uh, this one is biotechnology, kan? Uh, basically, they have uh, many type of version for biotechnology definition. Okay, it is belong to if you are microbiologist, ah, uh, you may you may become with your your definition. If you are from cell and molecular biology, your definition. If you are biochemist, it is you may come from your side of definition. Okay, now biotechnology is the application of biological system. Um, maybe this one for 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 biochemist. Okay, an organism to pro in the production of good and services okay okay diminution of food biotechnology now we go for the food food biotech okay food biotech of course eh? for food biotech the definition goes focus more about about food okay food biotech is a downstream processing of raw food material and macromolecule raw food material including everything about the carbohydrate oil okay sugar and Uh, the fiber, okay, all related to food that we consume, okay, um, using biotechnology process for the production of food and food ingredient, uh, food and food ingredient, which is improve food and food ingredient, okay. Um, so one more question for all of you, okay, give example, get example of product of food biotechnology. What is it? What is example of food biotechnology product around you now and right? around us? In Malaysia, in UPM Serdang, what is it? Uh, do you know about it? Okay, uh, maybe you don't realize it. I know maybe you don't don't realize it. Okay, okay. 
Okay, this is actually the example. Top 10 gene genetically modified food. Okay. Top 10, which is uh, corn, okay, soy, papaya, rice, uh, canola, potato, tomato, dairy product, and peas. Eh? Uh, basically, the one around us is a, is a soya. Huh? Soya drink. Huh? We drink every day. That basically, the, the, the not, as, not so expensive soya drink in the, in the market today, uh, in Serdang, basically, they come from, from GMO product. Okay, eh? Okay, the other one is uh, the rapeseed canola oil. This one basically you can find right? in the uh, in the grocery store in the grocery around Sri Serdang basically. Eh? But there has no label about label about the the genetic genetically modified uh, uh, GMO product here. Okay. 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 I just got just give this one example for a meat lah. Okay, in GMO product, okay. And then about the plant. Okay. Traditionally, the all biotech technique, they use fermentation. Okay, fermentation is very glamour biotech. Okay, then. And say about fermentation, it's related to enzyme. Plant. methodology okay 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 then okay i i check i'm checking the line okay sorry yeah what is food biotechnology okay food technology food but explain about the food biotech is a cheese beer wine and bread okay this one basically they use yeast eh? Yeast basically is where the one the microorganism which is which is uh, can be considered as safe eh? grass eh? okay okay so uh, the modern food biotech basically related to tissue culture uh, you can ask yourself and your friend maybe they come from cell and molecular biology they relate to the tissue culture and genetic engineering and those from microbiology or biochemistry, okay, to produce different from plant and animal breeding, okay. Okay, basically, uh, food biotech, there are in, an interdisciplinary pursuit, eh? because there are a combination between animal and plant biotechnology to produce food biotechnology or agro biotechnology, okay. Okay, and we can see here, okay, for the food biotechnology, and at the bottom here, Okay, basically they come from a combination of genetic engineering, microbial biotech, of course, uh, of course, uh, mixed with a plant and animal biotech, huh? and then they, and then it come down to the food biotechnology. Huh? Okay, okay, you can see here, and biotechnology they have many many ways can explain about biotech huh? uh, for the food science and can explain biotech as well. Food technology engineering and biochemical engineering all can be can be can be focused to the biotechnology and and then it can relate to the function of it okay and then basically biotech the major function of biotech now is a food that's why it come up with a food biotech okay 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 food biotech integrate biochemistry chemistry microbiology chemical engineering of course eh, cell and molecular biology as well okay and then it 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 can tell us eh, how to understand how gene coordinate growth, okay? And then, of course, this one, maybe it, it has been told by your supervisor or your lecturer about crop resistant to pest, wheat tolerant to salt or drought, okay? This one, okay, and then, okay, this is the main area of food biotech, okay, about the fermentation technology. And the fermentation technology, this is more, most used and important uh, technology use related to food biotech okay uh, here i give you example for beer brewing wine making bread making and cheese because this one is very well documented in you can find a lot of information about this type of product which is related to food in internet in library and eh? there are well documented a lot of um, research paper and eh? a lot of book a lot of scientific uh, book has been has been produced based on this type of food okay 
Okay, now the new product, eh, new product now is a polysaccharide. Eh, new polysaccharide. Eh, okay, medical important drug, solvent and protein and hand food. Eh. Okay. Okay, the enzyme technology, the other one related to food. Okay. Uh, this is used for specific chemical reaction. Uh, enzyme, of course, I, may, uh, I, I believe that all of you, you know already about the enzyme. Eh? In food biotech, basically, we work uh, to modify the enzyme eh? to make it, to make it, uh, to make it withstand in a very high temperature. Our, our single enzyme can be used for a, for a double function. Uh, that one is a, relate, can be related to the food production as well. Okay. Okay, of course, this one, this is very glamour example for fermentation by using, by using yeast, okay. Uh, this is classical biotechnology. By using yeast, it can, it can convert, uh, it can convert the, the, the dough uh, to become a bread. You can see that it is the, the, the good living bread, okay. Uh, okay, then one more thing about the food biotech, okay. Um, many of us the asian okay we are we sometimes some some of our friend okay maybe some of our um family member there are lactose huh? <laughs> intolerant so <coughs> food biotech can be used huh, to produce product with lactose free product okay uh, so uh, the other one is uh, to produce wine uh, the one basically why they come from grape juice, eh? grape juice, and then yeast in between. Okay, uh, the yeast in wine basically they, they has been modified to give the wine to give the wine special flavor based on their own origin or their own industry. And same, uh, different brand they produce different flavor or different taste of wine because they have the different type of genetically modified yeast. Okay, huh? this one goes to your food biotech as well, okay? Okay. okay. However, class, eh, although the safety of food produced in such a way is still a concern for many people, okay? Some people, uh, many people, class, even though we can see that food biotech is very good, however, and many people, they, 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 their perception, they, 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 uh, they have negative perception about food biotech. Huh? Why, class? Why, okay? Okay. Okay, this one, uh, GMO food and health. Okay, do GMO affect your health? Okay, is it is it true that GMO is bad for health? Okay, you have to answer. You are scientists. You have to answer about this one. Okay. Okay, a lot of people. Like, this is example that food biotech give some allergic problem to some people. Okay, a lot of people that had an allergy to Brazilian nut. Okay, some people they are allergic to nut. Okay, and then. Uh, they got allergy to this soya bean. So the seal of this soya bean product, this soya bean GM, GM was stopped uh, because this, this product, they insert uh, gene from Brazilian nut. Uh, this is one case, class. That's why some people, they, 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 they cannot agree that the GMO product good to, for health, okay? Okay, do you know what GMO are or what GM food are? Eh? Are they useful? Or do they cause harm to us? Now people start to think it is harm. Everything about food, because food meaning that we take it, we take the food, we consume the food, okay, we eat the food. So if this type, this type of, of uh, this type, uh, this type of thing, people sometimes they quite, they, they think it is scary because we have to eat, we have to consume. So they become, they may think that the food, Food GM, there are harm to to the health. Okay, uh, so you are the scientist. You have to explain to everyone that okay, GMO basically there are good. Ah, eh? uh, there are uh, there are good. They can give a lot of benefit to 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 our life. Okay. Okay. According to the data from U.S. Department of Agriculture, basically class. Ah, eh? basically uh, the one who are champion in GMO product. Ah, uh, there are USA. Eh? Uh, you can see that 90% of the soya, corn and cotton, okay, grown in the United States are grown from genetically modified food. They are the champion. They are the winner class, eh? the US, eh? okay. Uh, that's why they can produce a lot of, a lot of, apa ni, a lot of soya, corn and cotton and um, in the very, very cheap price, okay. 
Okay, they have the they have the technology. Okay, have. I ever wonder how to to genetic engineering as well class huh? okay then here class okay uh, in 2013 eh, uh, they have corn which is roundup tolerant gm corn okay this one if you if you, if some some person and uh, listen about this one roundup tolerant gm corn gm corn is okay they are food corn eh, can be eaten can be consumed however it is combined with uh, something chemical class eh? chemical uh, this is poison roundup 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 is poison and eh? poison so when it is combined with the gm corn so it give a eh, negative negative impact negative effect to some person they start to think about the scary uh, what did what what this type of corn eh? uh, so class eh? so that's why sometimes people can accept eh, about the gmo product okay yeah this is about the label lah. In US, it is no need lah to label GM, the 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 product with GM ingredient as a GMO product. Okay, okay. However, in Europe, it is a must. Okay, okay. GM food, they have a lot of pro. Okay, of course lah. All food basically, they can they can give some potential harmful. Han. Even even though to the glucose as well, and we need sugar in our drink in our food. However, and sugar as well, they can they can have some potential harmful to our to our health. Okay. Okay, this is very glamorous example eh, for a, a food biotech uh, which is golden rice. Eh? Golden rice basically they have vitamin A inside. Okay, it is uh, commercialized. It has been commercialized in Philippines. Eh? Okay, so I, I hope you know already about this one, okay? Okay, then because uh, they have beta carotene inside, uh, beta carotene, beta carotene, beta carotene, which is which is um precursor for a vitamin A. Uh, so the vitamin A can give uh, a good a good uh in, good effect to the to the dose or deficiency of vitamin A. Okay, it is good for for vision and uh it can cure the uh, malnutrition issue okay 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 then uh, this is one more thing about how to relate food biotech to the to the, our daily food product uh, one of it is a meat product okay meat product okay meat product it can relate to the sodium nitrate eh? sodium nitrate inside meat huh? this one is a uh, this one is um, a hot dog and sausage burger salami all those things basically uh, you, you you eat this one okay it relate to the meat product okay meat product okay okay i start this one meat product okay because this one is uh, more 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 close to your life okay 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 then i have been told that at 10 i have to stop okay now is now is 8 59 one minute to 10 okay and then 10 we, we will have a uh, five minute for a uh, rest okay for a break okay and then we continue again at nine 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 oh five uh, if i'm not mistaken okay okay so should i stop now moderate low guess sorry Hello, Lydia, sorry. Hi, Doctor. Yes, yeah, sure, Doctor. You can stop now. Okay, five minutes. Okay. Okay, now so, hi. Nine thank you so we much. come back again, okay? Yes, Doctor. Okay. So, thank you so much, Doctor, for the highly knowledgeable section just now. So, dear ladies and gentlemen, we have reached to the end of our first slot. So before we move on to the second slot, which is the contributions of GMO foods in today's world, we will take a five minutes break. So see you guys in five minutes. Take care.
So hello again, everyone. Welcome back to our GM Food Talk when food made technology. So I hope you guys are uh, has come back to our talk again. So in this segment, we'll hear a prominent sharing on the topic of contribution of GMO foods in today's world. So let us welcome our Dr. Halmi again. Hi, doctor. Welcome back. Okay. So the fly Thank you. Doctor. Okay, sorry. Okay, hi, everyone. Okay, we continue again. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, everyone. Okay, how are you? Continue now. Okay, we submit product. Okay. Okay, class. First of all, basically, um, uh, I'm quite new with StreamYard actually. Okay, I don't know. I, not not well worse about screen yeah because all the time i always use zoom eh, for my online online presentation and then while using zoom i basically i i know who are my client who are my student okay uh, i can i know one by one okay i can talk eh, uh, two-way communication however by uh, using stream yeah it is new for me i cannot i cannot see who who, are, who the audience okay that's why i quite for the first time just now quite quite uh i take some time okay to get familiar with the stream yard okay it's okay and okay new new lesson for me okay now we go for the meat product okay meat product basically the meat product like a like a uh, burger burger hot dog sausage salami uh, they basically they have sodium nitrate inside eh? the sodium nitrate it provide a uh, good bright red color for the meat Okay, they want make it look look uh, look uh, attractive for the for the consumer to buy it. Okay, to buy it. So, however, the sodium nitrate, sodium nitrate, they have some bad effect to our health. Okay, which is they can they can give uh, colon cancer, colorectal cancer, eh? sodium nitrate. Okay, okay, this one. Okay, uh, this is meat meat with with the the nitrate eh? nitrate. Nitrate, it become nitrate oxide. The nitrate oxide class, eh? the nitrate oxide metabolite, they become secondary amine and then it become nitro, nitrous compound, which is uh, it, can, it, can, it can assist in the development of colorectal tumor cancer. This one, okay? The cancer inside the, inside, inside the, the rectal. Okay? So this one, it is very bad to our health come from nitrite. Nitrite, it is come from the color given to the, to the burger, to the sausage. Eh? Uh, so, so how? How the biotech can prevent this type of danger? Okay. Okay, this, this is salami. I give you an example. This is salami. Okay, this is how the salami is produced. How burger is produced, hot dog, sausage is produced. Okay. Okay. Okay, this one, uh, this is uh, in, in the industry. Okay, and then the nitrate itself, they can they can cure the pathogen such as Clostridium botulinum. Eh, Clostridium botulinum. Okay. However, this type of sub, the nitrate, this type of nitrate, they can they associate with a colon cancer. Uh, colon cancer. Eh? Okay. Uh, then by using bacteria, uh, scientists they try to find out. They try to screen eh, isolate bacteria which is naturally present in meat that can produce red color similar to nitrate. Uh, this one is a biotech class, eh? biotech because by using this type of microorganism, no need to use nitrate anymore, eh? nitrate anymore. So it can it can prevent colon cancer. Okay, this one is, this is one type of example. Uh, this is figure safety standard similar to other product okay okay food from biotech are just as nutritious as other food okay then 69 percent of american they they easy to buy the the gmo product okay uh, because they, they believe it can reduce carcinogen Okay, then uh, they basically they believe as well as pesticide. Okay, and they the product made with wet modified to 
use less land. Okay, food produced through biotech are widely grown and consumed in the US. And it is started, it is started to be to be export everywhere. Okay, until now class until now okay okay agriculture technology like biotech benefit agriculture technology like biotech okay. agriculture technology like biotech benefit consumer farmer and that are gmo class eh? A product modified to provide more healthy fat okay uh, from 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 uh, gmo GMO plant, okay, it can provide basically, uh, I will give you an example about fat, okay, fat produced by, by genetically modified plant, okay. Okay, then, uh, so this one, uh, trans fat is a fat that can give bad, uh, very bad uh, risk to our health, okay. It is related to cardiovascular disease, okay. And then, uh, this is produce modified to improve vitamin content. This is the example I give to you just now lah about the golden rice. Okay, it it provide it can provide vitamin A. Okay. Okay, this one is a food biotechnology market. Uh, now already you can see that uh, we are up we are APSC country. Okay, uh, Malaysia, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Singapore, uh, including China, India, Japan. Uh, we are in APSC country. Yeah? Uh, RO mean the rest of APSC country, okay? Those who are champion in biotech in, in our side is uh, Japan, followed by China class, eh? and then India, India, then South Korea and Australia. You can see that all of, basically, they have very good technology in, 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 uh, for plant and animal. Okay, very good technology. We are here. We, uh, um, we and Malaysia, Singapore, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, all the country, all the rest of the country is here. However, uh, those who are very good technology in plant biotech, in animal biotech, in cell molecular biology, they are here. Uh, you can see that the market, they go to, to those who to, to, to those who, who are very good, who are very, uh, very knowledge about, very good, very good knowledge about, about the biotech, okay? This one global biotech market by region. Uh, we can see that from 2019 until 2026. Okay, uh, now it's 2022. They try to to predict what what happened for the future. Okay, we can see that for North America, it is including US and Canada. Okay, they are the champion for a global biotech market. Okay. Uh, however, for Asia Pacific, you can see that we we start to grow to increase very well. Okay. Eh? Uh, so meaning that the market for biotech is very huge until 2026 okay okay this is global food biotech market by product okay by product and region okay this is forecast from 2021 until 2028 eh? you can see that for the forecast you can see that the asia pacific uh, including malaysia here uh, gross potential market become very very huge market okay uh, this is from 2021 until 2028 okay uh, the america they are in the middle okay okay Meaning that, okay, it is um, uh, the expert in, in cell molecular biology, expert in uh, microbe and biochemistry and is basically they are needed for a future class, eh? okay. Uh, so basically for you, no, it is not enough for you to study uh, until uh, first degree. You should, you should, you should uh, go for a master and a PhD because to cater this type of potential class, eh? okay. Okay, example, one more example about fat, okay. Uh, this is chocolate. Uh, the chocolate, they come from cocoa butter. Cocoa butter give you chocolate flavor. Uh, chocolate flavor, it come from cocoa butter, okay. Okay, what happened? What what related to the food biotech, okay. For the cocoa butter, basically, they come from cocoa, uh, cocoa, cocoa fruit, cocoa. Uh, so, cocoa butter, basically, uh, not easy class uh, to have this type of cocoa seed, okay. Uh, because uh, it is plant, of course, the plantation of cocoa, they, they, they become uh, less uh, year by year because it is converted, the land converted into, 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 apa? into factory and into industrial area. So, they have a problem. 
Okay, and then CBE, preparation of CBE. CBE is a cocoa butter equivalent, meaning that cocoa butter, cocoa butter produced from uh, cocoa butter light, eh? produced from the other fat such as palm oil, okay. To produce this one, it needs enzyme, uh, enzyme. Enzyme here is a lipase enzyme. The lipase enzyme can be, can be, can, can be, can be developed, can be created, eh? can be produced by using, of course, biotechnology, eh? okay. Okay, this is about CBE lah. The chocolate in the shop, in the market, outside, if there has no chocolate flavor, basically they come from palm oil. Eh? It is produced from, by using live paste, okay? And the live paste come from, of course, you have to know something about genetically, genetically modified uh, organism, okay? Okay, for this one, by using this this type of genetic genetic modified product okay it can produce uh, it can produce chocolate which is resist from fat bloom and high melting point okay uh, then provide better appearance of chocolate uh, this one i give example of chocolate lah okay uh, so uh, recommendation for this one eh? uh, recommendation for this one of course we have to explore more enzyme and investigate the possibility of non-exotic fat production. Now, this is related to enzyme. Lah. What I want to, to, to focus here about the enzyme. Okay, enzyme. Enzyme can be modified. Eh? Gene of enzyme can be modified to produce better chocolate product. Uh, okay. Okay, one more thing is a canola oil. Eh? Canola oil basically they, pro they, they produce from uh, canola seed or from GM canola crop. Uh, canola product, I, I take this one as an example because canola oil can be can be buy, can be bought from our local market. Uh, uh, basically, they come from US. Okay. Uh, they are genetic, they come from genetic, genetically modified uh, plant. Okay. Canola crop has genetically modified to make it tolerant to herbicide. Okay. Okay. How does it make? Okay, this is in our market. Okay, uh, it comes from from Mezola. Okay, basically we think Mezola is a corn corn oil. Eh? Okay, uh, however Mezola also produce uh, oil from canola. Okay, uh. okay, basically canola the basic train SP four. Okay, CP four. Okay, combined with the uh, gene from or or Probactrum anthropy, okay. Uh, it is isolated by using restriction enzyme. Okay, this one, okay. They put inside plasmid and then produce this type of uh, new gene, okay. And then they put inside canola crop and they produce this. Uh, then they produce the, the canola oil, okay. Uh, this one, the process, lah. And uh, of course, you know already about the process because you come, I know you come from, from uh, genetic class, okay. Okay, is it safe? to consume this type of product. Okay. The canola plant has been modified, not the oil. Okay. The modification has been made to only one gene, which is protein. Uh, processing remove all protein from canola oil. So canola oil from the herbicide tolerant plant is exactly the same safe and healthy oil as canola oil from conventional plant. Uh, so this is, we can see that. We can see it is, it is, um, uh, it is not harm to the, to our life, okay? Okay, canola oil dangerous. Huh? Uh, this is kidney and liver problem, life-threatening heart trouble, hypertension and stroke, increased intake of trans fat. Basically, this is general problem to all to all oil intake. If you take it too much, and huh? of course lah, everything we we have to take it moderately. Uh, if it is too much, it will come with the problem. Uh, so it is common basically not to the canola canola oil alone, but to all food product. Okay, uh, so we cannot we cannot see this one as a, as a argument to say that GMO product is bad. Uh, okay, okay. As a conclusion, canola oil is safe to consume, but it's also have side effect. Okay. Uh, this one example, final example I give about uh, the reason given do, by those who are, who hate GMO and who hate GMO, okay. You can see by, by one, I can, you can think about it, okay. Okay, so this one is a canola oil in our market, okay, GMO product, okay. Canola plant is a redust version 
of rape seed which undergo variety of chemical process. Is it true? And that say oil was one popular for its industrial use, but consuming it was associated with variety of health woes. Okay, because it is a hybrid rape seed, canola oil may may prove may or may not and eh, to be not a very healthy choice after all. Okay, you can think about this. Is it true? Canola oil goes through an extensive manufacturing process that involves chemical. Uh, maybe you don't know lah detail about this one. However, for 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 oil production, they they uh, do not use many chemical lah. Eh? I know about it. Okay, the canola plant is pressed to extract oil. To extract the oil, then after that, the oil is washed. We call it bleach. We call it bleach. Eh? It is it is normal because if it is not bleach, the oil become it look uh, dirty oil. Okay. Okay, like all modern vegetable oil, canola oil goes through the process of refining, bleaching, and degumming, all of which involve high temperature. Okay, sometimes it was high temperature. Long time ago, it is involve high temperature. Now, the technology improved, okay? Okay, then, and because canola oil is high in omega-3, which easily become rancid. Yes, class omega-3 easily become rancid. However, new technology, they have, eh? they have a, a, a advancement method to protect the omega-3 from easily rancid, okay? Okay, the standard deodorizing process remove a large portion of omega-3 by turning them into trans fatty acid. Uh, this one, I don't think so. Lah, eh? Okay, rancidity of what in indicates as oxidation, of course. Rancidity meaning that all flavor of the product, okay? Contrary to the popular belief, canola oil may offer no cardiovascular benefit at all, okay? I cannot say at all lah because basically canola oil, they have the, the, uh, the, basically, okay? Basically, the, the oil, the omega-3, basically, they are good to, 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 to the health, okay? Okay, okay. Uh, this is the final one. I want I want to think about it. Okay, before we end our session, okay, about culture meat. What is it culture meat? Ah, huh? culture meat basically, ah, uh, they are, they they don't come from from cow. Ah, huh? uh, they come from lab. Uh, they are lab meat, lab meat. Okay, uh, what do you think about this one? Okay, culture meat. They come. Okay, biopsy and then for a stem cell, stem cell is taken from the cow and then they 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 put inside the plate and grows. Uh, add with a growth serum and then it grow my tube and then start to produce muscle tissue and then compact press and then can be converted as a as a burger similar to the burger from from cow meat uh, this is culture meat and what do you think about culture meat eh? if i give to you if someone give to you culture meat for you to eat are you going to eat the culture meat and you can ask yourself kan so is it any other possible harmful danger for this one? Are you going to consume it? And to take it inside your mouth and chew and then consume it. Is it? Plus you can think about it, okay? Okay, one more thing. Uh, for, a, for, for a Muslim, is it halal? Can it be eaten? And is it a meat? Is it real meat? Okay, how to answer this one? And uh, you're a scientist. And how to relate, kan? Uh, this type of product to the to the um the the common people perception. Ha, this is biotech product, lah. Ha? This is biotech product, food biotech. Okay, but it affect the lifestyle very much, class. Huh? Okay, you can think about it. You are basically you are scientist, huh? Scientist, you know about this one, okay? Okay, what are your thought? Okay, what do you think about it? And uh, so class, huh? Uh, so uh, you you have to you have to prepare lah to answer this type of question because people believe that you know about biology, you know about microbiology, you know about biochemistry, you know about the the culture meat, and you know everything about biotechnology, food biotech. Eh? You can explain very well, and uh, because you are the person who are who are very depth knowledge, kan? About whatever happened around biotech issue. And, uh, so this one class, uh, so um, you have to think lah uh, all those current problem and current problem related. Uh, the halal one, that one may be related to religious. 
Okay, however, you have to know, you have to relate your knowledge about science, about microbe, about biochemistry, cell microbiology, kan? about um, genetic engineering, how to explain that one. Kan? In term of uh, biologists. Kan? Uh, so, maybe uh, for for Muslim, they, for Muslim, it is about halal. Kan? How about the vegetarian? Kan? Uh, can, can they eat this type of food? And vegan, eh? uh, strictly vegetarian people, and uh, so it, we, you, it, we have to think about that one as well. Okay, then uh, some religious as well, and eh? uh, so other religious like uh, and the Jews about the uh, product related to for a juice is um, what is it for a juice? Huh? Muslim halal for a juice is. Um, Juice, well, I forget. Sorry, sorry, I forget. Uh, okay, so this is some, 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 some problem we have to think about. Okay, uh, so not only about not not only about uh, one inside lab, we have to know something, uh, something current issue outside, uh, current issue outside because we have to, we have to, we have to, what uh, explain. We have to explain it is interrelated, eh? interrelated. When you, when you go outside, people will ask you about this one, about this thing. And eh? what the halal status for a, for a lab meat, eh? for a, for a lab meat just now? Okay, how to explain? How to explain? Eh? Uh, is it meat? Is it real meat? Is it original meat? Is it similar? Resemble to original meat? Okay. Uh, so that one basically the final question I give back to you to answer. Okay, before you go uh, sleep today, okay? Uh, so, I, okay. Okay, thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you so much for your attention uh, for this uh, food biotech uh, explanation. Uh, basically, this is, I want to make it sharing session. Eh? Uh, basically, for my class, eh? for my class during lecture, I make it sharing session with my, with my student, okay? However, uh, this one, I cannot, I don't know who are, my, who, who are the audience here. Okay, there has no, like, uh, not similar to Zoom. Uh, very, very new for me. Okay, and then. Okay, thank you. Can okay, we meet again after this? Maybe um, the committee said they have a, a question and answer session. I'm not mistaken after this, okay? Okay. Now I think uh, that's all for, for for my part. Okay, I have to stop at nine nine thirty. Yeah. Uh, is it true? Okay, Roger, sorry. Hi, doctor. No, no, if you have something to continue, you can still go on with it. We have time till ten, actually. Uh, what is it? I think one hour for me, right? Uh, one and a half an hour, doctor. Yeah, I see. <laughs> but it's okay, I doctor. See. We can move on with our Q&A section now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought 2% uh, have to give a lecture. One, uh, me, one, and another person. That's why I, I, I make it uh, very fast at 9.30. Okay. Oh. okay. Maybe you can... Uh, maybe, maybe you can... Never. We can start this, uh, after this with a Q&A session. Okay. You can discuss. Yes. Whatever I can answer, hmm. uh, I will answer to you. Okay. Yeah, sure, doctor. Okay, okay. I stop now with my with my slide. Okay, the final slide. Thank you. And then we start with the Q and A session. <clears throat> so, a heartfelt thank you for beneficial section of Doctor Halmi. So, based on the discussion just now, I believe most of you guys are interested in this topic and would even love to hear more about it, right? Okay. So, without any further hesitation. We will proceed to our most waited Q&A section. So feel free to drop your questions in the chat box. So wow, so fast we have a question now, doctor. It's from Nurin Azura. So is there any downsides of the GM food industry, doctor? Okay, this is from Nurin Nazura.
Hello? Can you listen yeah, hello, to me? Doctor. Can you listen to me? Hello? Hi. Yes, doctor, we can hear you. You can hear me, doctor? Okay, okay. This is Christian. Okay, thank you. And Yuri Nazura. This is Christian from Yuri Nazura. He's there and he's outside of the gym. For uh, the to discuss it, okay? This is about the industry. Plus, yeah. yes. uh, for the food industry, um, they try to, uh, basically, they try to hide. Whatever, whatever, like, as you can they try to avoid uh, something. Okay, now we don't know what the downside of the GMP industry. Everything is good. Everything is good. Basically, the industry, one of the one of one of the focus is profit, of course. Industry they want money, they want profit. Eh? They want money, they want profit. So uh, at the same time, they try to introduce a lot of benefit about G GM food. And then yes, GM food they give a lot of benefit. And then at the same time, if the GM food provide bad thing risk okay uh harmful okay they 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 try to improve the bad thing the harmful thing uh, the danger of gm food by using uh, by using uh scientific knowledge they have done side however they cover it they improve it okay they apa, they correct the error okay and then now basically basically for us as a consumer we also we we are introduced we are given information the good about gm food of course lah, the industry they have they have the evidence that the gm food, GM food is good so we and then the, the uh um, one is a perception only perception there is no there is no scientific evidence or else scientific evidence is very hard to prove by scientific evidence okay okay nurin okay like the one i give example just now okay the, the soya soya which is it it uh it has a lot of allergic effect because it is the soya However, that one, it is, uh, they try to prove that type of soya by using another, another scientific uh, advancement to, to, to improve, right? to improve, the, to, to create the, the new benefit of the soya by using uh, new genetic, genetic, uh, genetic improvement, okay, and I feel like that, okay. Okay, thank you, Doctor. And thank you, Nuri Nazura, for your question. So we have one more question from Kuhine Shri. So, Doctor, what's your opinion on the production of GM food in near future We face if we face food crisis? Okay, what is your opinion on the production of GM food if in near future we face food crisis? Uh, basically, this one, uh, I'm thinking about the food crisis as well, okay? But food crisis... In theory, it can be solved by using GM food, huh? because GM food they can they can produce they can produce food which use less soil, less pesticide, and then it can provide more beneficial, more nutrient, and then it can produce a very huge product by using by using a small land, huh? so it can be it can be basically for me personally I say that. The, the food crisis nowadays can be settled, can be solved by using GM food. And, uh, but, but of course, nah, whatever it is, it still it, 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 it comes with a problem as well. The problem is okay, some the, the negative perception from some some uh, some group of people. That one is a problem. And tapi of course, nah, it's uh, normal. Lah whatever it is and because people will say that the industry just want the profit money only and uh, but at the same time the end food gives a lot of a lot of benefit as well okay uh, okay uh kohanas venkataramana that's my my answer okay 
Thank you, Doctor, for the question. And thank you, Kuhineshwari, for okay. the question. So we have a next question from Nadira Usna. Are GM foods uh, assessed differently from traditional foods? Okay, now. Okay, are GM food assessed differently from traditional food? RGM food assessed differently from traditional food. Okay, okay. I give you an example just now. Okay, about the GM food. Um, of course, they are they are different eh, from traditional food. Okay, traditional food. Um. Okay, you can think about this one, lah, kan? Example, kan? Example. Traditional food. One of it is, uh, let's say, okay, bread. Basically, bread. We are we are not so familiar with bread actually. Okay. Uh, bread is not our culture food. And bread, nah. bread basically they are Western food. Okay, the the three our traditional food such as the um, let's say tempe lah, tempe and tapai. And tempe tapai they are fermented food, fermented food product. Tempe tapai is our traditional food. Okay, um, they are produced by using traditional way. And however, for a modern food, modern food they are processed food, huh? processed which is canned food. Canned food, which is uh, put inside, apa tu, uh, uh, multi-pack food, kan? Uh, which is for, basically, class, uh, for the food biotech, not only for food ingredient, it, it will go as well to the packaging, packaging of the food, okay? By using the packaging, the packaging itself, it allow only some type of gas to, to enter the, the food product, food package, such as, Let's say carbon dioxide. Eh? Carbon dioxide, if it is inside food product, we can uh, prolong the, the shelf life of the food product. Uh, this is the different. Traditional food, basically, they produce traditionally. However, for a modern food, eh, uh, the, the, the GM food, basically, it is, it is produced by using, of course, lah, by using, they are processed food, fully processed food, canned food, eh, prepared food. Okay, uh, that one, that that show the difference between traditional food and the gm food okay uh, so that one is um, only only i can say um only early example the difference between traditional and gm food however of course lah, they have some more explanation uh, about the processed food right eh, to the, the basically it is related to health problem lah because the processed food as well sometimes the industry and they put eh, they put uh, preservative inside the processed food which is not so good to health lah. okay and then they sometimes they put extra uh, coloring and eh? coloring what else eh? flavor huh? that one sometimes it is it is synthetic flavor and eh? if, if it is synthetic color it may give some problem lah to health as well okay however this one is this is our challenge this is you and me uh, we have to take the children to produce some coloring, some preservative agent, okay, some flavor that, that which is naturally naturally uh, uh, developed by the bacteria. Uh, just now I give you an example about the one color nitrate, eh, nitrate and nitrate, which is give red color to the burger, to the sausage, to the, apa ni, to the, to the hot dog. Okay, that one, okay, the color can be replaced uh, from uh, coloring agent which is naturally come from bacteria. Uh, this is our challenge lah. Okay, okay, so a lot more, a lot more class eh, can be explained about GM food which is different from traditional food. Okay, okay, I think uh, maybe it can answer 100% your, your, your question. However, maybe close eh. Maybe fifty percent can answer your question, okay? Okay. So thank you, Doctor Me, and thank you, Kuhine okay. for this wonderful question. And we have one more question again from Danu. Can GM food cause allergies? Okay, what is it? Eh? Can GM food cause allergies? Okay, basically allergies, allergic, eh? Uh, allergen. Allergen is a compound that gives allergies. Okay. Allergen basically they come from protein eh, or acid amino. If uh, if the the food the GM food they come from modi 
modification by using uh, uh, protein from allergic product, yes, they can give allergic. Okay. However, however, this one still under debate uh, among the scientists because uh, we have the scientists they have a lot of uh, sauce a lot of protein or I say amino sauce eh, to modify eh, to modify the food uh, so eh, instead of they use the sauce which is can can uh, as a allergic sauce why not use another sauce which is can be can be which is not related not related um, not at all related to the allergic or allergen okay uh, so can modify uh, this one is uh, it is belong to the knowledge or it is belong to application by scientists. Uh, which source of uh, the protein or acid amino they want to choose? Okay, if they choose the source from nut, the source from egg, okay. Uh, so of course, uh, it may be allergy to some person. So they can what, but they can replace. Uh, uh, some sort of allergen as well is a protein from, let's say from um, uh, gluten. Eh? Uh, gluten sometimes if you buy uh, uh, gluten is a protein uh, protein which is in 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 biscuit uh, in biscuit in bread okay uh, this one al al this one allergen as well however by using biotech we can we can eliminate this type of allergen and produce new one uh, of course uh, before this previously we have experience uh, the gm food they have experience about the allergy and uh, allergen Okay, and then the scientists they start to improve, huh? and they start to make it more, more they, they start to improve, make it um produce it without huh? with without any allergen compound inside. It. Uh, so it comes with the food which is good, huh? which is there has no allergen. Uh, okay. Okay. So thank you, Daniel, for that question. So we have one more question from Shifa. So, Dr. Ken, GMO food causing serious health to the environment. Have read one of the articles from genetic makeup impacts down the food chain. Okay, can GMO food, uh, this is about food, okay? Uh, food, food itself. Can GMO food causing serious health to the environment? Okay, I have read one of the article genetic makeup impact down the food chain, yeah? If we talk about food chain, we can make a lot of speculation. Eh? Because for the food chain, if the food chain is interrupt, okay, it can it can interrupt the whole the whole chain. Okay. If one one item inside food chain is interrupted, it can interrupt the whole food chain. Okay. So for this one, okay, uh, from from theory, uh, the answer is yes. From theory, uh, the answer is yes. But to 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 provide evidence to this answer. Okay, it take a very long time huh? because the food chain maybe it we have to show it may take about 10 years okay uh, so uh to have the uh what, what i can say is to have 100 percent 100 percent uh evidence that uh the uh, evidence that it can cause serious health to the environment it is very very hard to prove and huh? very hard to prove very hard, eh? difficult to prove. Okay, so for this one, as a scientist, I can say yes lah. However, for those from industry, and they still can produce uh, GMO food because they say that there has no evidence. Eh? We, we can think about the evidence, but it, it is, uh, it is uh, as a theory, as a theory. Uh, some, some research has to be done to, to show that it is true. Uh, but until now, we can say we have we have to wait and see lah, uh, something like that. Okay, okay. Uh, for okay, that, for for this one, I can say Thank only you. only only that, that type of answer. Okay, I cannot give you yeah. apa. Um, okay, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Shifa. So we have one more question from Aisha Tamzizi. Is it possible that in future we can depend only on GM food? specifically on crop as our daily food source if yes doesn't that mean we will lose the original unmodified seeds okay Aisha huh? okay is it possible in future we can depend we can depend only on GM food eh? 
crop food eh? as our daily food source. Okay, for this one, for this one, the answer is yes. And then the answer is no. They have two answers. We cannot, basically, we cannot, we cannot control the crop. We cannot control all people, okay? Because some people, they even know that the GM food is good, but some group of people, they deny to, to consume the GM food. Uh, we cannot, um, that one is their, they, they choose to, to, to live with, with uh, traditional food. We cannot say that one is up to them. So, class, we, we uh, is it possible that in future we can depend only on GM food? Yes. However, however, uh, it still has some group of people, they want only original, original food. Okay, if yes, doesn't that mean we will lose the original unmodified food? We cannot lose original unmodified seed because those group who prefer the ori uh, who, who, who prefer traditional traditional food, uh, basically they try to preserve. They try to preserve this type of traditional seed. So it is still it's still everywhere. Eh? The the traditional seed, okay, the original seed is still everywhere. Okay, still have two two group. One group is modified crop. One group is traditional crop. Okay, we cannot we cannot say uh, everybody have to have to use only modified crop. Cannot. Okay, uh, because it is related to the society. Uh, society they are dynamic. They are dynamic. Some society they cannot move. Some society they can they can accept new thing. Okay, uh, so um, uh, it will it will happen that okay. Uh, they have two type of food one is one one from one from gm food the other one is from traditional food okay so meaning that uh, uh the original modified seed cannot lose okay, okay it's still thank there you, doctor. okay thank you too. Thank you to Aisha Tanzizi for this wonderful question. So we have one more question from Madhuri Paramusivam. So does the marketing of GM foods have resulted in public debate? So how to change public's perception to accept GM food? Okay, sometimes they have they have problem with the uh, internet. So, Doctor, we have a question for Madhuri Parmasiva. Okay. Okay, the, what is it? The marketing of GM food have resulted in a public debate. So, how to change public perception to accept GM food? Oh, it's very hard. Eh? Madhuri Parmasiva, para okay. The marketing of GM food have resulted in public debate. Okay, yes, it's true. So, how to change public perception to accept GM food? Okay. Um, we can use education to change public perception to accept GM food. However, and whatever knowledge, whatever information, whatever fact you provide to the public, okay, not all public, they accept, they accept your argument. Uh, it is normal. It is normal, eh? Okay. It is similar to the, to the now, what is it? What is the COVID-19 vaccine? Okay, COVID-19. Even though you can see that COVID-19 is very good, okay, it can prevent the COVID-19 disease. However, there's still group of person that cannot accept the COVID-19 vaccine. Similar. And how to change public perception to accept the food? It can, it, through education and then through advertisement, uh, through uh, continuous education it continuous uh, uh, advertisement inside uh, in in youtube and in facebook and in of course lah in a school and uh, so i have to give a lot of a lot of news a lot of good good news about jm food okay uh, because class like everything whatever come to us in our life they have to think one is good one is bad of course like a like a food and eh? we need food Oh, food provide us energy. However, food itself provide us disease. Of course, everything come to us. They come in two way. One is positive, extreme positive. The other one, the extreme negative. And it is similar to GM food. 
we cannot say GM food is a, is a good 100%, cannot, okay? They still have some negative, some negative side of GM food, and some diet side, some is positive side of GM food, of course, eh? uh, but some people only think about the negative side. Uh, so what to do? And uh, so we just, we just show the good thing about GM food, that's all. Okay, because you can see that in the market, eh, GM food, they, the, the importance of GM food, they start to increase. Okay, I can I can say for you ah uh, our 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 student our student last time your senior lah your senior last time okay uh, from from our faculty biotech okay uh, go outside to find a job okay uh, then he he started to have a job in one big biotech company okay at that time Malaysia as well ah we promote biotech. Okay, but okay in Malaysia there are very very few biotech company in Malaysia. Okay, and then the student uh, now is a worker lah. Uh, he work he work with the this biotech company and then the biotech company they come from India. Huh? India class uh, they have many biotech company multi multi national biotech company very big company. And uh, so class uh, what can be done is just push yourself. To think about positive about GM food and then try harder. Ha, that's all. Ha, we cannot stop uh, 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 negative perception from the public. Just go ahead. And uh, one step ahead. Uh, so class, yeah, because last time I I went to the industry visit to the this is very new lah. Just last last month. Eh. Last month I went to the one biotech company in Northern and in Kedah. The name is uh, Swiss Biotech. Eh? Swiss Biotech. Okay. Uh, the I met with the manager. I met manager. He he want to he want to set up one biotech company. Very simple one. The product is a sauce, soya sauce. And then he want he wanted 10 10 person, 10 student. He want 10 student, which is which is very good knowledge in microbiology. Eh? Because he want to produce. Uh, koji acid. Uh, koji acid basically is a one product produced by produced by apa ni? Um, Saccharomyces cerevisiae. Okay. Uh, he want Saccharomyces cerevisiae. This is microorganism yeast. Okay. Genetically modified to produce very good koji acid to produce soya sauce. Okay. That one is Malaysia. Then the company the uh, the company, the capital is about 2 million. 2 million class. Huh? Uh, this is about GM food. GM food. However, no need to think about the public perception. Okay? Because they still have person who, 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 who hate about GM food. It's okay. Huh? We go in our side, they go to, to their side. That's all. Uh, okay? Okay, Maturi. Maturi Paramir Sevam. Thank you, Doctor. So, thank you, Madhuri Parvasimam, for the wonderful question. So, we have one more last question for our today's section, which is Did environmental risks could affect our on GM product? The environmental risks could affect on GMO product. Basically, uh, people always think about the, the GMO product could risk the environmental, could give environmental risk. Okay? And not the environmental risk could affect on GMO product. Of course, lah, class, because GM, GMO product, basically, they, 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 uh, they behave. Huh? Uh, in general, they behave like a normal product, normal plant. Okay? They also need water, Need oxygen, okay. Need uh, uh, sun ray, okay. If they has, if if environment, eh, environment, some problem with environment could affect GM product as well. However, scientists try to produce the GM product which is can tolerant to the environment, okay. Tolerant to the environment, okay. This one, the environmental risk could affect on GM product. Yes, eh, yes, yes. Eh, in some issue. Okay. However, uh, by using technology, scientists try to adapt, eh? try to make it, uh, try to make it well adapt to whatever risk from the environment. Okay, uh, so this one is still in progress, lah. Not all environmental risks can be can affect, uh, can give back 
factory jemo product okay ha uh, it is in, in in i mean still in stage of uh, research among the environment and okay is ni anwar i hope that one answer your question thank you is ni anwar <clears throat> So thank you, Doctor. So all right, I think that's all for our Q and A section today, as we are running out of time. So I would like to thank all the audiences that have participated in the Q and A section just now. Hopefully, the information given by Doctor help you all to clear your confusion about GMO food. Okay, thank you, everyone. If you if you still have question about GMO food, okay, maybe we can see you next time. Yeah, okay. Uh, I am uh, everywhere in faculty. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe I don't know you lah. Maybe you, you know me because I don't know who Rama Audia now. But okay, uh, class. Hopefully you can you can open your mind ah uh, more about the gym of food ah. Uh. Please please ah uh, please read a lot inside the inside internet. Start to find something related to gym of food, which is in our environment in Malaysia. I mean in Malaysia. Because it is important because if you go outside for a, for a job hunting, okay, maybe your your panel, your panel di- during interview, we ask you about something related to jam of food. Okay? Okay, class. So, thank you, everyone. Since we have reached the end of program, I would like to take this moment to thank Dr. Halmi for being our guest speaker tonight and also for inputting much knowledge about GM food technologies. I'm sure we all have learned something today. Thank you so much, Dr. Okay, welcome, everyone. And I also would like to thank all our participants for joining us today and make this event as a successful one. So, dear participants, do not forget to fill in the attendance and feedback form by using the QR code shown on the screen or by using the link given in the chat box, which is available only for five minutes. So, let me repeat again. Do not forget to fill in the attendance and feedback form by using the QR code shown on the screen or by using the link given in the chat box, which is available for five minutes only. And lastly, thank you for joining us today. I hope this program helped you all to gain more knowledge. So good night, everyone. Stay safe and take care.